We're getting ready to build out this Rital control panel. We'll be mounting our components and putting it over into the enclosure. But I wanted to highlight some of the features of the Rital system before we get started. First, let's talk about the finish of the panel. A lot of us use white panels in our enclosures. And as I've gotten further along, I really like the galvanized panels better. Now, electrically, there is no difference. A lot of you tell me if you use painted steel that you got to scrape a spot or something. That isn't true. But what I would say is as I'm doing my layout, if I actually do this on a white panel, I'm going to have scratches. And on this one, it's really clean. Another thing is these lines right here. In fact, let me just zoom out just the way it looks right now. I see too many of your panels. I know that's a little exaggerated, but you can't seem to get your components level. As we have marks in here, and this actually goes along with ePlan software, and it will tell you exactly where to lay them out. So a lot of little time-saving tips right there. And if we move on to the enclosure, notice it has a little bit of a rough finish. This may not seem like a big deal, but if you have a real shiny finish, then it's going to show every single scratch. And it's really difficult to get a panel to the job site, get it mounted, and not see scratches. I see a lot less scratches on this finish. Now, if we look inside of the control panel, then there's actually a lot of options available to you depending on your needs. They have a lot of good pre-engineered accessories for this panel. For example, if we need a door-mounted switch for our interior light, then it's simply a matter of grabbing these components and it looks very professionally installed. And along with that light switch, we can install the light with ease. We got the same rail system that'll pop in, a couple more brackets, and we can install the light and plug our light switch in. And then too often I see us grossly overload a panel's weight capacity. So we can get these additional stiffening rails if we need to install a heavy component such as a big line reactor or a transformer or some type of harmonic filter. And one thing we talked about in a lot of panels is you cannot put wire duct on the door to organize your wires. So they have mounting components so that we can run our wires and make everything very tidy. Additionally, they have some really good mounting systems, depending on whether you're floor mounting, wall mounting, pole mounting, or anything else that we have a really unique mount on ours because in our case, it's on a drawer that slides in. But I wanted to show some of those features before we start putting components onto the panel and putting it in the enclosure. Let's go ahead and start mounting some hardware.